dit qu'elle est dans l'œil, dans l'œil de celui qui regarde. Will you welcome on stage with me right, right now the director Leos Carax and Miss Kylie Minogue. I, there are so many questions about this movie I want to ask, but I think if, if I, what I want to do is maybe ask one or two questions of my own and then throw it open to the floor, throw it open to the audience and ask what you guys think. Uh, and then maybe we can take some questions from Twitter, make some, take some questions from, from uh, I need to online. tweet a question. Hang on a oh, second. Right, yeah, hang on. <laughs> Kylie's got to tweet a question to herself. No, 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 it's, it's to him. Yes, Kylie's got to tweet a question on. to the director. Um, <laughs> Basically, what I want to ask is, how did you guys come together? I had a project before this one that I couldn't make uh, an English project in London. And I was tr having trouble with the casting. And I was talking to a French filmmaker friend, Claire Denis. Yes, Claire Denis. And she told me about Kylie, because they had met about a project, I think. Yes. Yes. And um, so when I, I couldn't make that, that film, but then I wrote this project and I, I remembered. Uh, so I looked into who Kylie was. <laughs> uh, oh, I, please. I, no, I knew the name and I knew the, the duet you had done with um, Nick Cave. Nick Cave. Yeah. Um, and then we met. We met. Uh -huh. And once we, we, met, we yeah. had lunch in Paris. Yes. And I thought um, she was an angel I needed. Oh. <laughs> Thanks. That's it. And is that your memory, Kylie? When because you said it was at your hairdresser, or with, the, the hairdresser was a very important part of this. Hairdresser is always very important. Yes. In all okay. aspects of life. Okay. Um, uh, yes, uh, a good friend of mine is friends with Claire Denis, so I met Claire Denis, and then, uh, as Leos said, they uh, Claire mentioned me to, to Leos, and yes. we first connected by email, and you sent the script to me, and then I went to Paris, and we met and talked a little bit about the project, but just, I guess, just to start to get to know each other and. Right. Sound each other out. Okay. And uh, as far as I was concerned, it was. I was hoping it would be. It would be go, and it uh, was. Yes. Yeah. Do you know? Did you know about Leos's films before that, or did, did I you? I didn't know about all of them. I knew about. I guess the most famous one, which is Lovers on the Bridge. Right. Yeah. Right. 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 And what was Leos like as a director? This is what I want. <laughs> um, from me, he was. Is this embarrassing? <laughs> a little bit. Um, he was very gentle. That was my overwhelming um, sensation of the experience. And I was really pleasantly surprised to see when we were in Cannes, there was a little leaflet with uh, some notations from Leos about different actors or different scenes. And, right. and he had written the same thing, unbeknownst to me. So we, I think it was a shared experience. It was very... I don't know how he is with other <laughs> actors in other scenes, but in my experience and with this scene, it was, it was very tender, very gentle, and, um, and he's so knowledgeable. Uh, he asked me to put my trust in him, and I did, and that was it. Ça va, Monsieur Oscar? C'est bien. Il y a des jours où un meurtre par jour, c'est pas assez. Qu'est-ce qui vous pousse à continuer, Oscar? Je continue comme j'ai commencé, pour la beauté du geste. I mean, I'm I'm fascinated this the uh, concept of the stretch limo. I mean, what? How did that come along? Do you have much experience of riding around in stretch limos? <laughs> um, I did ride in one uh, the first time I saw one. Uh, it was in America, maybe 15 years ago, and then this turned started to appear in Paris. 
mm -hmm. especially in my neighborhood, which is Chinese. Chinese use them to get married, uh, you know, for weddings. Um, so I, I always liked them. I, I thought they were uh, both, you know, sexy and morbid. Mm -hmm. uh, they're obviously they're meant to be seen, but you can't see who's in it, who's in them. So yes. a bit like a, a bubble, like a, a virtual world, um, and you don't own them; you rent them. Yes, you know, it's nothing. It's not yours. It's um, so I thought they were good vehicles for fiction. Uh -huh. uh, that's how it started. Right. My, my main question is that you're a singer, you're a dancer, you're an actress, you're a designer. Is there anything else left on your bucket list, so to speak, that you're... There's a million things, literally. I mean, here we are talking about a film in which I have a small part. You know, I'm, I'm almost embarrassed here. I just want to listen to Leos all night about how he arrived at this incredible vision. Um, so I guess that is a way of illustrating that a year ago, I, I hadn't had this experience, so there's, there's, for me, there's always something around the corner that, that I haven't done. And even in singing, um, you know, getting back into acting is quite new to me, but even in singing, I did the proms last week. I've never done anything like that before, so I'm always more surprised when people say, really, what, you, you've done everything. I really feel like I've just skimmed the surface. You're welcome, and happy birthday. <laughs> um, another question for perhaps directed to Laos this time. Anybody? Yes. Thank you. Um, I have to admit, I'm a huge Laos Carrick's fan. I think it's wonderful that you're here. Um, one of my favorite films is Polar X, and I wanted to ask you about Guillaume Depardieu and what it was like to work with him. And a second question I have to ask about you is that when you watch Holy Motors, there's this sense of these different stories. And one story which I find really intriguing is the Ava Mendez character. And how did you manage to persuade her to be brave in terms of what she had to do? Go from being a supermodel to wearing a burqa. That was a very controversial thing to do. Um. About Guillaume, um, I loved Guillaume. Um, he was not so different from Denis, this actor. Um, I guess people are afraid of, of them. I mean, we're afraid of Guillaume, for sure. The insurance wouldn't insure me, and they wouldn't insure him. So it took us a lot of time to produce this film that nobody liked and nobody went to see. Um, about Eva Mendes, it, um, it was quite simple. I mean, the, the, I had imagined the part for Kate Moss, because we had a project years ago together, and she wanted to act. But she was getting married. And so I had met Eva Mendes in the festival, and I, I asked her to, if she would come to Paris for a few days. I didn't tell her much. I just said it was in the cemetery that she loves. So she said, okay. It's been so great having you guys here. I, I'm so grateful for, to, um, for Leos uh, and, and Kylie for coming this evening. Uh, I'm going to ask one more question from Kylie. Yes, sorry, um, go ahead. I'd just like to say it's a great shame that Denis Levant isn't here tonight because yes. how exceptional yes. is he in this film? <laughs> so if we can project a bit of of uh, get well soon his way and we, we miss him being here tonight. Yes, absolutely. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I wonder if you could join with me in thanking Leos Carax and Kylie Minogue. <laughs> <laughs>